What the heck happened to this cup? He chewed away all the carbon through the resin. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, guys. Today's video is pretty juicy. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. This is Be Distinct, where we put G35 contents, and we're on a mission to get to 10,000 subscribers. And when I almost gave up, so we can go ahead, swap the engine, boost it, and make this thing a monster. So if you can please join our movement, and when I almost gave up, go ahead down in the comments below. Hashtag Road to 10K. And when I almost gave up. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. But without further ado, I know some of you guys come just for the giveaway. And you know what? I understand. You don't want to listen to me. You just want to win some money. That's perfectly fine. The giveaway, I will probably post a little bit later on in this video. So if you want to go ahead, skip ahead. I'm going to put a little tick thing right here. But I really appreciate if you watch this video. It's a really useful and pretty awesome video. So without further ado, today... I have decided, well for over the past few days, I've decided to make carbon fiber myself to give it a try. Like, what is it like to make carbon fiber, carbon fiber parts and things like that. So I tried to learn myself and well, I'm gonna show you the outcome right now. And if you're interested, I'm gonna show you exactly the steps that I took and all the mistakes that I made that please, if you decide to do this, do not make. I will put these steps, the exact steps for the right method, the right way to do it, in the description below, so you guys don't make that mistake, and you guys will see all my mistakes. So let me show you the pieces right now, how they turned out, and I will explain all the mistakes and everything, and how everything went down. So without further ado, let's begin. Here are the pieces. Oof. Look at that. Hexagon carbon fiber pieces not bad right they don't look that bad from this angle right not too bad not too bad i did a pretty decent job that's what you think right you're probably asking yourself right now wait why is there two handles but only one window switch why, why don't you do the other side well let me explain to you guys i did actually plan to do both of them but since it was my first time this is what happened step number one you gotta put resin Mix it with the hardener so you can make this great, this great glue and glosser on the piece so that the carbon fiber cloth, it's cloth that they're getting soft, it can stick on it. So I don't know what sticky meant. I'm like, I touched the piece and it was sticky, but it was wet. And I'm like, but if it dries too much, I might miss the opportunity to paste it and then I won't be able to paste it no more. So I put the freaking carbon fiber cloth on this piece, not this one, but the other one, I put it on and it didn't want to stick guys it didn't want to stick and i completely messed up the carbon fiber cloth and everything so i threw it away i couldn't do it no more i ordered more carbon fiber so we will be redoing that piece don't worry and we will be doing the whole center console i will show you guys later when we put these pieces on but i completely undid that one threw it to the trash not the piece but the carbon fiber um, it's just part of learning, you know, this steps is going to require part of learning and this video is not meant It's not a how to do it because by no means that I do a great job But it's so you guys learn from my mistakes and if you guys decide to do it You guys learn from it videos that I'm gonna post right now afterwards right now You guys will see my whole things and all I did and how I pretended to know what I was doing But this is what I did after I messed up the other part. I knew exactly what it had to be. It had to be a freaking dry sticky kind of like a sticker sticky you know you touch it it's dry but it's sticky right that's exactly how it's supposed to be i know some of you guys are like bro stupid i know didn't you know that well i know sorry guys well and i figured it out guys you're not supposed to sand in between coats you're supposed to put the resin on top let the bubbles happen then once it's cured put another layer of resin less bubbles will rise you know you still do the heat gun and then boom the final third layer of resin and it will leave it spotless without bubbles no gloss no nothing and that's the way you're supposed to do this like again i'll put the steps down in the description below so you guys can follow that method and not this video method so then that way it came out good before i knew that i put the pieces on my car they look great but it still had those bubbles and my dad was like hey why don't you sand it do all this stuff and you know fix it up and i was like okay you know you're right Let, let's perfect this for the video i want to give these guys the best quality 
con uh, not content, but also content, but like the best quality product. Like I want to show them that, you know, this came out great. So, um, you know, I, I took off the pieces again, sanded them down. I was like, this guy knows what he's doing. We bought a sander machine. I was sanding these pieces by hand, but now I bought a sanding machine. Yes, better, better, right? No, no guys, no. We bought the sanding machine and my dad wanted to do it, right? So. He grabbed this piece, he's like, yeah, the sand beads, and, well, uh, we'll, we'll look what happened. Look, this piece is absolutely atrocious on the side. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but it's black. Let me see if the other piece looks better. It's black. You see, this is, like, clear. This is black on the side, too. That's me. The black is me trying to fix it. The whole piece was gloss. You can see the carbon fiber all around. Great, right? But when you sanded it down, you know, the resin is a surface, but once you're done with the resin, you're gonna start cutting into the carbon fiber. And I guess on the sides, there was less resin than on the top, and he didn't know, and he just woof, took the carbon fiber off, completely shredded it, and I was like, well, there goes four days of work. Yeah, you know, it's all right, it's all right. So I try to remain positive, you know, that's what this video is about, and I try to stay calm. Now, if you guys want to see it play back in lifetime, live reaction, live emotion, everything, here, I'm gonna post the GoPro footage of everything that I did, me trying to explain to you guys, me failing miserably, and I hope you guys enjoy. But before I do, let's go put these pieces in the car and let's see how they look before I show you guys how miserably I failed. And the giveaway we'll still do at the end, so don't worry, guys. Also, guys, some tools that became really necessary that uh, I didn't mention in the footage after this is a sander, like I mentioned, a sander and the rotary tool. This especially will come super handy when cutting the carbon fiber, when um, when polishing, when sanding, that will do what all these delicate corners right here, that will do it. Also, the method that I did below, uh, this is how it came out guys. Like this is the carbon fiber that stuck. Like, and this is how I found out guys. Cause I was watching videos and you add a bunch of resin layers, like three consecutive without sanding. And that's how it comes out really good. This part that stuck, this piece was like this guys. This piece was like this. This was onto there when it was soft. And look at this piece guys. This I did no sanding, no whatever. Literally just dripping resin on top. This is a bunch of layers of resin that stayed from that. Look, look how clear, look how clear this is. Gloss fantastic the way you want it perfect mint condition and the pieces that I wanted to perfect came out super crappy which is pretty ironic right but that's the method guys you need to add a bunch of layers of resin and this will perfect it no bubbles crystal clear whatever look at that guys look at that I wish this was a piece but this is our piece oh well well we're gonna have to find out all right guys at this point I'm just showing you the carbon fiber how it looks on the outside and the exterior because there was way too much sound effects uh, with the camera messing up, so I wanna give you guys better audio. So we're gonna put half and half, half hardener, half a resin. We just got done, guys. We just put the, the resin all right guys so it's been a while so we're gonna go ahead and apply the carbon fiber what the heck happened to this cup All right, guys, this is the next day. I kind of gave in halfway during the day. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I failed at this. I put the cloth, the carbon fiber cloth too early. It was way too wet. This thing, look how horrible this looks, guys. Now this, well, the reason it looks like this, I don't know that resin thing. I have no familiarity with that. So when I it got messed up, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys all my mistakes. It's my first time, I didn't know how how this freaking resin hardener thing worked, like how fast it heated up, how fast it dried up, how... 
All right, guys, we just returned the other rotary rule. We just got a bigger, bigger motor one. This one's 1.5 amps. The other one was 0 0.7. That's probably why I burned out. Uh, this one goes super fast, dude. This has, I'm going to use it on one because it has six, I'm going to say six gears, whatever. Six speeds. And, it, and then it has a max. Dude, I turned it into max. That shit will shred everything. So we're not going to use that. That's way too much power. So we're just going to, watch me cut, watch me cut. Alright guys, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I was done with this, and like I said, it left like this, but there were small bubbles that I was uh, not happy about, so we bought a sander to try to sand it in, and I should have done it myself, but I had my dad do it, and uh, but uh, look, he chewed away all the carbon through the resin, and uh, yeah, now it looks like shit, I don't know if I should still put it on I mean if I do it all over it's gonna look like ass uh, guys see this is the kind of challenges you go into <sighs> and I don't have no more carbon I ordered some but it won't be here anytime soon we just painted them we clear coated that that looks really nice I'm really digging that one uh, this one we're still trying to fix uh, Hey guys, if you guys made it this far, this is probably because you skipped through the whole video and you just got to this part, which is the giveaway. Here it is, our 4,000 subscriber giveaway. I was gonna give something like formats or anything like that, but I think I'm just going to give away $50. That way we don't have to choose like the item, what kind of item you want. I'm just gonna give you the money and you could go buy it yourself or do whatever the hell you want. I know it's just $50 guys and I'm really sorry, but uh, I don't know. I'm gonna give away fifty dollars this time. Next, if we get to fifth, if once we get to five thousand subscribers, I will do a bigger giveaway. But it's just that I don't want to do a big prize now and then like smaller prize next. You know, goal. So it's little by little. As we go, we will do bigger prizes. So don't get upset if you don't win. I know a lot of you guys commented over three hundred comments, guys. It's absolutely insane. Thank you so much, by the way, for all the support. So without further ado, let's do the giveaway. Fifty dollars, one winner. Next, let me know if next giveaway you guys want me to do several winners. Uh, I don't know if it's better that way. That's way at least uh, uh, more of you win, like smaller prices, but more of you win. Let me know that, or just one big prize, one winner. Let me know if you guys like that kind of stuff. So let me know on the giveaway style, what do you guys prefer? So I asked you guys to comment any comments to be answered for the giveaway and this is why. If you guys go to this page, it's a YouTube random comment picker. That way it's not biased, it's not nothing, nothing at all. This is the previous video. This is not where I mentioned the giveaway. We're just gonna do an example right now. The, the thing, the YouTube URL, it says filter duplicate users, meaning if you commented twice, it would only count one of your comments. And we want to do this so everybody gets a fair chance and not one person, you know, commented a bunch of times and, you know, gets higher chance. This will pick a random winner. You click start, it randomizes, blah, 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 blah. It gets all of you guys and then boom. So if I were to do it on this video, Lil C707 would have won. So dope seeing your cars from the Bay. Thank you so much Lil 707. Shout out to Lil C707. Thank you guys so much for supporting. But that's the way it works. So now let's do the real deal. Okay, so there's the 145 comments. Let's scroll down. And here it is guys. Drum roll. Get ready guys. Let's see who wins. Let's see who wins. Oh gee, this is scary. This is scary. Yeah, the winner is... Ooh. The winner is Josiah McNair. I apologize if I said your name wrong, but it is Josiah, Josiah McNair. And he's got the comments. Yes, sir. Hashtag giveaway. So congratulations to Josiah McNair. Congratulations on winning two 4,000 subscriber giveaway. Go ahead, comment down below winner, and I will get in contact with you or you can always DM me on Instagram at be distinct. Or if that doesn't work, 
you can always email me. And my email will be down below in the description. So, without further ado, congratulations, Josiah. Thank you guys so much for supporting today's video. And I will catch you guys next vlog. And let's get to 5,000 subscribers so I can give you guys another prize. I really enjoy giving back to you guys. So let's get there. If you guys go on my Instagram, literally I post stories. Screenshot them, post them on your story, share it. Let's freaking get to 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. And I'll catch you guys next vlog. Peace out.